Good morning, everybody. It's Meredith. I'm back. This time, sans cast completely. I'm all healed. Everything's feeling good. And I've been back at the gym for the past couple of weeks. So I'm very, very happy about that. If you're wondering what is going on here on my dining room table, well, my family and I play this game. It's called Betrayal at the House on the Hill. It's like a fantasy game. Um, to be quite honest, I'm not quite sure what's going on with it yet. We've only played it twice. My son, who's 13, got it as a gift last year. We're just kind of trying to figure out what we're doing with it. And um, we were playing last night. And I don't think we actually got to the main part of the game, but we had to like build a house and get rooms and something happens. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. But I'll let you know when we figure it out because I think it's going to be really good when we get to that point. Anyway, um, I want to, first of all, I want to apologize because with everything that's going on with videos and stuff like that, I haven't really learned how to edit anything. So on the plus side, you are getting what's going on in my mind. On the negative side, when I'm not exactly sure what's going on in my mind, you get that too. Um, I know that a lot of people that do videos are able to like splice and put them together into coherent thoughts. I'm just trying to put them together in my mind and then say them. I'll figure it out eventually. Anyway, I wanted to talk to you today um, because I have a really great product that I want to talk about. Um, Mary from Grease Girl Headbands had reached out to me, I'd say about a month ago, and asked if I was interested in checking out some of her products. And reviewing, reviewing them and naturally I said yes she and I have been friends on social media for a while um, we always chat on Twitter she's just like a great person that um, you know we connected and so when she asked if I was interested I was naturally drawn to it and I said sure um, so she sent me a couple of these headbands and one that says dream big and this hat that says believe um, now I don't know if you've noticed this about when I run or when I work out but I usually have some sort of hat or headband or visor on my head and the reason is this um, my hair is absolutely crazy like on a good day it's pretty crazy and when I work out it just frizzes pretty much immediately I'm a heavy sweater. I sweat. I feel like I probably, everybody feels like they sweat a lot. I feel like I sweat a lot. Um, and so when I sweat and when I'm working out and when I'm really like getting into it, I look into a mirror or I catch myself in like a reflection and I'm like, oh my gosh, because my hair is just crazy. So rather than deal with that, um, I started wearing the hats and the headbands and stuff like that. But my problem with headbands was always that I could never get them to stay on my head. Like I'd put them on and then it would slip off either during a run or at the gym or whatever. And then I'd end up no better than when I started. So when uh, Mary reached out to me and asked if I'd be interested, I immediately said yes. And I told her my problems, <laughs> told her like, I, I don't know if it's like my head is misshapen or odd or something like that, but I said, you know, I'm not sure how they're going to work for me because they, in the past I've had problems with headbands not staying on my head. Um, and she just asked if I could measure my head for her and um, she would fit it to size basically and, um, you know, send it on over to me. I got these about three weeks ago at this point. I've been wearing them pretty much nonstop for every single, I got my cast off right around the same time that I got them. And I've been wearing them for every single workout um, because I wanted to give an honest review. I don't like not really testing something out properly. So I tried these out and they are amazing. They're really great. They have this little cinch right here that usually I wear at the back of my head. Um, but I have seen that other people do wear them on the front. Um, my mom actually noticed that I was wearing these and she's like, what's, what's with the scarves? Why are you wearing headbands all of a sudden? 
and it's because these are awesome. Um, they've worked really well. Not only do they hold my hair down and back, but they also catch the sweat um, on the inside pocket right here. Um, and they've just been really, they've been working very well for me. So I like supporting small businesses. I think it's important. So I will put the link to Grease Girls um, Etsy site on my page and also in the YouTube notes. And um, yeah, I think you should definitely try and check them out if you get a chance. I'm sold, I'm a customer now, I'm going to be buying more. Um, and as a special gift, she said that she would do a giveaway with us for our readers. So along with this post, with this video, I'm also going to be putting a link to um, enter that. So you should definitely check that out. Um, and you should check out her Etsy because it is, like I said, fantastic. They've done nothing but good things for my hair, my head, my sweat, catching that, it's kind of gross, but it's true. Um, and I'm just very grateful that I had the chance to check them out. So, like I said, I'm a customer now, I'm going to be ordering some, and I think that you should definitely check them out if you're in the market for that. And I guess that's about it as far as that's concerned. Um, tomorrow I have the Haddonfield Adrenaline Run Race, and it's a 5K. I'm doing it with my husband who, this, it's funny, because this is the one race, this is the one 5K that he's always like, so you signed us up for that, right? Um, I don't know why he has honed in on this one as like his absolute favorite, but it is, and it might have something to do, they have, um, afterwards they have, um, 20% off at their store, and then they also have beer and food and stuff like that, and I'm not saying that's like the drawing factor, but he definitely likes that portion of it, um, and then in a couple weeks, I'll be doing the hot chocolate, the Allstate hot, hot chocolate 5k in Philadelphia. Um, I am super excited about that one. I love the swag. I love that I'm going to be seeing so many people that I know there. Um, so it's just something I'm looking forward to. And then a couple weeks after that, I have a half marathon. And I was a little nervous about that because I hadn't been getting in a lot of miles when my injury with my hand happened. But thankfully, I have some great friends that I've been meeting up with. Um, and we've been doing longer mileage and that has definitely helped out um, in easing my my mind and knowing that I'll be able to get through it. It probably will not be my fastest half ever. I'm okay with that. Like I just, I want to get it done. This is, I started doing the Atlantic City Half Marathon, the April Fool's one, um, on my 35th birthday and now it's six years later. So you can do the math on how old I am. And I have done it every single year. So I could not sign up for the race. I just, I have to get it done. And I know it's going to be a good one. It's always a good one there. Um, so I hope you have an awesome weekend. And I will see you all soon.